very good. In the presence, in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the sons, in the kingdom, in Father's house. Mm -hmm. In Father's house. Mm -hmm. Father, no matter where we go, is the only power. Father knows all things. Thanks for reminding us, Elder Williams, about that tree. All we know now is good because we're in Father's house. Amen. We're going to have to learn and remember and always think on these things. Our Father is everywhere. He knows mm -hmm. everything. You see that? Amen. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. And and he's got all power. All power. Mm -hmm. If we don't know that, yep. we'll get sneaked. Mm -hmm. Because you'll think it's another power. Mm -hmm. And it'll look like it's one, but it's not. There's only one power. Get that within us and keep it there. And when situations present themselves, they are not the power. God is the power. Amen. Father is the power. Amen. We're going to have remind us of that every time because, like Bishop Paul says, and this is so wonderful to, to, uh, when God puts his word in the hearts of his people and you know something. Like for years, I kept saying, I see something. <laughs> to be able to Williams, really, I see something. I'm trying to show something. I, there's something I see. I don't even have the ability in and of myself right. to even convey it to you. If the Holy right. Ghost doesn't show it to you, you won't even see what I see. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And the same thing with you all. Sons know that. There's something that may be for another time. But you know what? The same God that was in the beginning mm -hmm. is right here. Exactly. So whatever it is, like you say, it may, whether it may be through us, you, his time, in the fullness of his time, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this with all blessed assurance. It's done. Yes, Lord. Whatever it is, it's already done. Mm -hmm. Because all things are in him. He's the beginning and the end. What, what outside of that needs to be done? He's, he's all of that. Yes. Praise you. Hear the difference yes. in that? We are, I'm not going alone, I'm, I'm thanking God all the time in my heart with, mm -hmm. with prayer. Uh, this is prayer, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm thanking him all the time. Mm -hmm. We need to really see something wonderful instead of worrying about the outside of things, like Prophet has told us before, listen, what's within? All power. You could take any person. You Within you is the kingdom. That's everything. Amen. That gets expressed as, as, like Bishop Paul was pointing up here, as we become aware of here what's true of us Amen. in Christ. When we become aware of what's true of us, then that comes Amen. out from us. If we don't know what's true of us, I'll tell you it's kind of like this. I was thinking when he's talking about the way things in the world. If, these, if people go to church or meetings, and they hear only the, the bad things. Mm -hmm. You already heard news more than likely, yeah. unless you're in a vacuum. But you go to church, and the subject is not the answer that Christ is. But the message is about that problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, the person that needs help, well, maybe if I go out and, 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 and do this or that heinous crime, they'll be preaching about me this. Because <laughs> that's what that, what that thing is looking for. It's looking for a place to, to be on stage. You know what I'm saying? You see, you hear that? But if you go and if you can, if you can just get ministers to, it's okay for you to stop. I know a minister closed his doors and came and sat over here. Yeah. Pastor. It's all right for you to stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can just stop and say, look, I need to go before the Lord before I continue this because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Because when I do it, 
it, it's just making a mess. But if the Spirit of God does it through me, then there's going to be power in it and people are going to be helped. So I'll just stop. Just be honest with your people and tell them that you need to go sit down. And I'm, I'm not saying that like in a crass way. I'm just saying it. a lot of people before the people, you are perpetuating the problem. When we get to the end of the day's lesson, by the power of the Spirit, we're going to see we should be perpetuating the name of our Father in this Amen. earth. Amen. That's the reason that we're here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As sons of God. So we thank God. We thank God for the Spirit of truth. We thank the Christ for being the teacher in the midst of us. The very Spirit of truth. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we've come a place in in God, that, that he's in control of things and that nobody's worried about being in control of people. You ever think about it sometimes? You, do you know the responsibility? If you, especially if you had children, why do you want to take on hundreds of people like you, you they mama or daddy or something instead of letting Christ be true in them, be real in them, you see? <clears throat> so we thank God that we're coming to a place of understanding that, listen, the only power we're focused on is God. So if God is the only power, omni, all, what is that? What, what is that other thing? It's a lie. How did it get in? in how did it get in among, in among people? Because people choose to eat mixture instead of the pure message of the spirit and where we learn of the Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The Christ. Been there all along. That rock that followed them in the wilderness was Christ. Amen. You see that? Christ. Before Abraham was, I am the Christ. Any of us, if we really know who we are, you can say that same thing. Because of the substance that we are in the spirit. Before Abraham was, I am. Because we're not talking about this person, we're talking about God. Amen. We gotta realize that God is in us. Hallelujah. Amen. What else do you think we're coming here for? To, to share. What, what other life do you think we have to share? What else could I possibly give you? We could sit down and talk and have some good conversations about maybe gardening or our personal interests, but other than I don't have anything to just when it comes to the spiritual house, this got to be God. Amen. This has to be the power of the Spirit, and that's what's going to help, and that's what's going to change. I thank God so much for Bishop Paul. I remember he said one time, and it was so humble. He said, we're in another place, but he just said, I sat right in that chair, and I died. Amen. And see, when people talk like that, they think you're speaking death over them. And I told y'all before, if you, you look up the word gospel, good news, and if the word is where our word eulogy comes from. Yeah, I'm speaking, I'm speaking a eulogy over you because your old nature is dead. Amen. You need to know that. Amen. I'm not talking about your physical body going down. I'm telling you, yeah. that old nature, you see it right there? Mm. It's buried. Yeah. 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 We, when I say we, people in the church are the ones keep necromancy. And that's why God said they don't have a necromancy. Don't deal with the dead. Yeah. You see? Yeah. We ought to understand the sense in which he does that because he is judge of the living and the dead. But we need to understand. See, you need to come away from that because you, what you really are is life. We see that with, um, we're going to see that dealing with Elimelech, Marlon, and Killian. Mm -hmm. Even Naomi said she was bitter, but she, we, we'll get to it in the lesson. She says, God, God has shown his kindness not just to the living, but the living and the dead. Yeah, you are God. See, there are things like Paul the Apostle said that we should be speaking now, that things that you really should be hearing, we really should be hearing, but you can't say it now. Because when we should be on strong meat, you remember that scripture? Yeah. You, you, you sti pe you, people still, be, still have to be told. First of all, I think, if we'll just look at that, the way the epistles or the gospels are, are written and just find Christ in there. Look at what Christ is saying. Don't worry about what man is saying. Don't blame another man for nothing else or another woman for anything mm -hmm. else, especially if you can read or you can hear these days because right. your Amen. little device that you keep playing with all day will read the Bible for you. Amen. So there's no excuse for any anybody for anything Amen. now. Just read and hear what's true about us in Christ. It's really true. Things that are true in Christ, I didn't even hear till I was in my 40s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Now, been in church, look. Yeah. In every church play. Yeah. And, and all the Sunday school. Not just went to church. You went to Sunday school. The denomination I was in had Sunday school. And then you went to regular church. And you went back in the evening to what was called a training union. Yeah. Now, that's church, ain't it? <laughs> and you know what we did? I, my grandmother was, went to a holiness church. We went in one denomination wow. church. And we get out of church. I couldn't wait to go to church with her. Would sit there and power be all over me, right in the church with my grandmother. Set up all day in that other church. I ain't felt nothing. Every now and then, you know. I'm just saying, you see this? You see, the Spirit of God is true. It always has been. Thank God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the things that you have to say to us by your precious Spirit. And Lord, we receive them, not by might and power, but by your Spirit. Thank you, Father. We're looking at Ruth, the second chapter of Ruth. In the second chapter of Ruth, we can only get like a couple of verses at a time. And that's fine with me, because that's how you're supposed to be conquering it anyway, mm -hmm. by little and little. Mm -hmm. The state that she's in now, spiritually, that's all we're concerned about. That's all we're concerned about. When I look at this beautiful, <coughs> this beautiful picture of grace unfold, and I look back over the years, and many of you all are witnesses in here. You've been in, in ministry sometime, different places. How nobody really understood Boaz. And they had women looking for mates. And they used Boaz. I'm going to find my Boaz man. And you forgot that scripture that says he finds you. But you flip the, that's what error do. It gets flipped around. You see like that. So it's this. I understand that scripture after the manner of the silly women. And that's not just a female. That can be male and female. Silly silliness instead of instead of enjoying the presence and power of God. Something superficial. Is put on top of it, and the people run after that. This it's like empty, something that looks real good, but it's just empty. It's nothing in it. Right. Just, just void. You got, mm -hmm. got this, 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 this great thing, and oh, it looks so good from the outside, but there's nothing in it. And on the other hand, you can have this other thing, and it may not look like you want it to look, but all power is in it. Amen. Amen. Because God is in it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Ruth 2.17, the last time we came together, we saw her. It says, so she gleaned in the field until evening. And beat out what she had gleaned. And it was about an ephah of barley. Barley, a promised land product. Resurrection product, okay? Until evening. And we saw that, that's speaking of like twilight. So she's worked until the evening or, or the twilight. And I reminded us of that scripture where Jesus said, work while it is day, night is coming when no man can work. Now why he's, the reason he said that is because I'm the light of the world, Jesus is saying, and as long as I'm in the world, you have light. Amen. Hear that? Mm -hmm. this, this, you see how darkness looks when he's not given his right for place, don't you? Mm -hmm. You see what total utter darkness like... Like in um, when the children of Israel coming out of Egypt in that plague of darkness, it said the darkness was such that it could be felt. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I would not want to be in that situation mm -hmm. where the darkness, where you can feel the darkness is so dark. Mm -hmm. So thank God for the light that Christ is. But he also told us what, that we, we, we're going to be, like I said, it said on the hill. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's in us. Yep. Amen. Like pastor, our pastor used to say, we just just love him so much. Just been thinking about him a lot lately. He used to greet the people, hello, city. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. Call you who you are. Amen. Not your old dirty sinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hello, city. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So what did she do? The scripture says she beat it out. I know your, your new translations may use another word there, but what she's doing, she's separating. And that's a picture of us. You just hang out in Boaz's field and you, you, you know how to rightly divide. Mm -hmm. That's just what you can just plug that in right there. And verse 18 says, she took it up. 
Now, this is something we need to hear the language. Excuse me, the way I favor the old language in a way. She took it up, and this is what she did. She went into the city. Now, I would say, you would say, well, she took it up and she went home. But do you think the Holy Ghost has a reason for saying she went into the city? Yep. Where else do we hear something like that? Remember when Jesus met the woman at the well? Yes. After the exchange, what did she do? She went in the city. Come see me. I'm telling you, this. we got a song kind of like this. It's something that's running with the gospel. You you get in contact with boys, you got, you're going to go into the city, which is speaking to the church. You see this? Speaking to the church. Well, she goes into the city. She's getting ready. We're going to see it unfold. She'll take, take of what she had to. She's already sufficed, but she's going to give to Naomi. This is what we need to hear, and this is what the, the way the, the Spirit guided the, the discussion at the beginning. And I see it really clearly now because Naomi doesn't see herself as Naomi. She sees herself as Mara. Remember she said, don't call me Naomi. I'm nothing pleasant about this situation. My husband and my boy is gone. See that? So she said, call me Mara. Bitter. Bitter. And y'all have heard me say this, and I'm trying to help people. I'm just taking a little time. If y'all don't mind, I know you all are beyond it, but I'm just, we just take a little time and help people. There are a lot of people in situations. And they're trying to find answers in what people are calling church. But they're really just gatherings of people kind of doing their own thing. And they are very bitter. And this is a bad state to be in. And I'm going to tell you how I can tell you it real good because I've been there. There are things that you're expecting from God. You want God to do this and you want God to do that. No matter how much you want to do that, it's not going to change God. Amen. You heard that scripture, he changes not. Amen. And you ever seen people kind of like, you really, you fear God, so you won't run your mouth too much. But in your heart, you're thinking it. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In your heart, you're bitter. And what you need is for somebody to bring you something, to bring you the barley from Boaz's field, and today for that is the truth from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You need the spirit of truth to bring that to you, because otherwise, you know, you just be going to church and sitting up in there just as bitter. Why do you think there's so many schisms in the body? How can you come into a house of, I don't know anybody in here that I'm looking at that I don't just, just love, and no matter where I saw you, I just want to hug you and greet you, I, because of the love in my heart for you. How can some people sit up in church and, and look, you, you, these, these two sisters don't speak to those four over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's it. That's it. How in the world can that happen? These, these, these brothers don't speak, well, this brother won't this position and, and this one think he ought to have it. How, what, what, where did that come from? You, this whole thing starts, this bitterness, is because people think God should have done something the way they wanted it, and it didn't happen that way. Y'all hear God? Please hear God. I'm trying to see, see, see Mother a few years ago when you first met me, had a little bit more spunk, but I'm getting older now, and I'm just trying to help somebody. I'm telling you the truth, I'm trying to save y'all some time. You hear what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to just, just really, really help somebody. This bitterness is going to come out one way or another. It's going to come out one way or another. You'll be just being a, just an utter pain in the ministry. Change the whole flow of a service. I'm telling you right now, if we aren't, weren't a people that know we're sons of God, you can get one person that will come within us. And change the whole thing. If you, if it, I gotta get past that bishop, but I'm just telling you, I'm just letting you know how easy it'll happen, and how some ministers will just sit down and let that happen. I'm gonna tell you it's like this: somebody's gonna be very resourceful. Oh, that's just what we need. Look, look, we don't need no money. 
We don't need. Uh, look, look. Whatever we need, God is. What? Well, look. Grace already sees to it before we ever the need ever. What we think is a need ever surfaces. Y'all hear God? Y'all hear the Lord? So that's what generally kind of, or some talent. Oh, this person has so much talent, they can do this. You just let God live in you, and you'll be surprised what's in you. Amen. You'll be surprised of the God that is in you if you just give him time to work himself out of us. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. This bitterness. So, Ruth takes what? She took up what she had after she sufficed herself, and she, she brought it to, into, she went into the city, and this is where we need to look. Let me tell you something about the city. Colossians 1, 25 through 29. It starts out like of the witch because it's following the previous verse, which has a comma. I don't like to do that, so the witch is the church. I made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery, <laughs> rest of you all know what's been ready to be said next. Yep. Yeah. Even the mystery, which have been hid from ages and from generations. A mystery has been hidden, but he get ready to tell us in plain English what it is. Yep. But now is made manifest to whom? His saints, people bitter with God, you're, you're going to come into an understanding of things if you're really one with God and you're in Father's house and you know that he's not doing anything, that, that the things that we're doing and blaming on him, you'll see it the right way. God didn't do that. I did it. Mm -hmm. You see? Amen. To them, God would make known what, Lord? What are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles? Which is Christ where? In you. Christ in you. In you. Look, not on the pages of the book, like Bishop said earlier, in, in you. In Christ in you, family. What? The hope of glory. Him we preach. Warning every man and teaching every man in all what? Wisdom. Well, where'd you get that wisdom from? It had to come from God. He's got because God is all wisdom. I don't care how smart. Look, somebody, you people get credit for discovering things. I'm so glad that you were at a place where you could tap into God, but you didn't do that. Ain't nothing new under the sun. That's from God. That is from God. Hallelujah. We're not putting the putting the praise, the glory where it belongs. That we may present what every man, present every man what? Ain't no, not many pastors are worried about this right here. This bothers me. And that's why I put emphasis on it. That we may present every man, listen, perfect or mature in Christ Jesus. Nobody's worried about you, you being mature in Christ. You're you a tick mark in a, in a role, church role. That's why I told you, we don't have no role here. Anybody can come in here. It's the master's house. Amen. Here you have his permission. To change your condition. Amen. If you want to, just come on in the house Amen. and sit down. We're having a wonderful time. Amen. Come on in this house. Amen. This is the master's house. No man has authority over this. This belong, belongs to the master, Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul goes on to tell Colossae, for which I also labor, striving according look, to his working. Who doing the work in us? If God's got all power, then what are we doing? Is his according to his working. Which working what? Where? In, in me. me. In me. I, I had to put emphasis on this. In me. How? Mightily. Yes, I told you all, it was, it was so powerful, I ended up putting it as, as part of a writing. Mm -hmm. I told you all for, for years that Paul, what read from Paul, he, he said, it pleased God. To reveal his son in me. And I don't know why, but all my life from ever hearing that scripture, my brain processed to me. I want to see, I want to see him. 
looking everywhere for him. I've been, been bounced around like a rag doll, flung over here, and do this and do that, and manipulated in somebody's ministry because you can help somebody out and do this and do all this kind of stuff like this. How about one day? The Spirit of God woke me up. And this is saying, I, that's why I say it's a preposition that changed my life. He's not being revealed to me. He's revealed in me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You hear the difference in that? We have to hear that. He's being revealed. This kingdom is within us. And people are looking outside for it. And that's why people are bitter. You're mad at yourself, you're mad at God, and you're mad at everybody else because you couldn't manipulate God. You're not going to change him. God is God. It's not you and God. God is God. When we speak of ourselves, we should be speaking as a, listen, the Christ speaking from within us. You see that? You can't go on your own like this. You can't go on your own with this right here. If you, if, if, if it's the Christ in us, working mightily in us, what you doing? What, what can we do in and of ourselves? It can be, it can be so nice and, 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 and fluffy and pretty and any of those other adjectives that you think is really nothing at all because you put them up against the glory of God. You see what pretty is and you see what beauty is and you see what glory is and that ain't nothing like it. No matter what we try to do on the outside, it's really within us all the glory. It's Christ in us. The hope of glory Amen. not being revealed to us, in us. And when you see him, all that you thought was so extravagant and stuff, you'd be like, mm, okay, that's nice. I think. The only way you can handle it. Is it of God? That's the, that's the thing right there, family. She went into the city. Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Thank you, Lord. You notice that she went and gleaned, not just a lot, enough for her little self. She was sufficed, and then she bought some. You see this right here? Y'all hear this? You know why? We've already said this, but we need to remind ourselves. You're not going to use up grace. <laughs> grace will have done what God wants it to do, and you won't even know it's missing. Except that, you know what I'm saying? If you had to see grace in a compartment, you'd be like, well, ain't nothing. And you go back to the beginning of your life, and when you can remember, you see what well, he's been doing this all along. His grace is still full. I can't get rid of it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, what does Naomi see? What do what the bitter people see at first? That's why you, you don't, you don't stop, give up on people. Ruth knows what she's done. She, she, she understands this fine. But what does Naomi see is important right here. She sees what Ruth gleaned. You hear that? She sees what Ruth gleaned. But what we need to see is spiritually, not naturally. We need to see the blessings of Boaz. Mm -hmm. We need to see the blessings of the Christ. Don't just look. Somebody come. Oh, look what, look what, what I got. You know what? I know. I hope they're finally out of that mess. People who just got in so much debt trying to look prosperous because yes. prosperity was a mess. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. what I'm saying. Yes. Amen. I hope, I hope they're out of that now. <laughs> and can see what true, the blessings of Christ. Yes. You know what? If somebody said, you can come and preach to the stadium full of people and ain't nobody in there want to hear about Christ, I'm like, I'd rather be a restoration. Amen. I'd rather be a restoration. Amen. You know, people there that you know, that really love the Lord and want to hear him. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. See, when people's aspiration, I, I want to do this and I want to do that, God knows what needs to be done. I told y'all how God's working this thing. We ain't got nothing to do with it, and messages end up everywhere. Amen. We don't have one thing to do with it. Not one thing. And it's so amazing to me. What looks like maybe a small thing, 
don't, don't you think it's small? Don't you think it's small at all? Glory to God. Right. James 1 27 says, Pure religion undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, to keep himself unspotted from the world. So you see then that scripture guidance, Ruth is doing that. You hear this? You see this? You can't help but want to share this. And when this this when this this ministry first started and and, and, and the doors just just opened and we were sending. I thought about it the other day, Bishop Paul. We used to send um, uh, cassettes. I told you all about that. They were going all over places we didn't know. We ended up on the side of the world. But I remember the postage was so expensive because of the container we were using mm -hmm. to send a CD. Us, it was like almost two dollars to send one mm -hmm. CD in a. Good. Mm -hmm. How about, and we had over 100 and some people, almost 120 people on the mailing list. How about, I'm, I still, it's kind of like the, the, the meeting up in Duncan. I'm still trying to figure out how this got to me other than grace. Mm -hmm. This man from Alpharetta, Georgia, mm -hmm. I ordered some CD. Uh, mailings, I think is what it was. And he had a note in there. If you just put one CD in it, they, they would um, treat it like a letter. Because the way the edges were made, the machine could read it. See, the ones we had before, they had to be hand tossed. And that's extra postage. Mm -hmm. So I took it, fixed them up, took them up to the post office. That's not enough postage. Mm -hmm. And I called the man back and told him, this man lived in Alpharetta, Georgia, called this post office. And we've been paying, when we use those envelopes, we've been paying regular postage ever since. Y'all hear God? Y'all hear the Lord? Well, we trying to figure it out. God already, I, if, if, like, a, if it's back one of those things about the brother that came to visit with us, if, if I saw this man today, I wouldn't know who he is. I wouldn't know. You hear that? I'm just trying to let us see. We're talking about grace in motion. We're not telling the Bible story about Ruth and Boaz. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. So, verse 19. Her mother-in-law said to her, Where did you glean today? Where did you work? Blessed be he that took notice of thee. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she had worked and said, This man's name with whom I work today is Boaz. Verse 20. All well, this is very important. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who hath not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. I told you that earlier. Mm -hmm. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. See that word right there, kinsmen? We need to dwell on that a little bit so we'll understand the time in which they live. See, there was a Leverite law that's not familiar to us. Well, certain sex will pop up and start doing stuff, for, you know, that you hear about, but I'm talking about just normally. <clears throat> you won't hear it. But there's some things we need to know here. First of all, look at the reading. The mother-in-law. I know that's a term, but... Just think about what we're learning. We're learning now that we're not under law, we're under grace. So this exchange with Naomi and Ruth's gonna be in law for a while. Y'all hear you hear what the what, what, what we're trying to say right here. Hallelujah. See, there are some things. If um uh, like it says, if the this purpose of that law, if the man, if a man died and didn't have a son an heir to carry on his name. The brother would marry the wife until a, an heir could come, you see. Hallelujah. So, glory to God. So we could understand then what, what's happening right here. Now, Naomi, like I said, she knows law. She's excited. This man's a near kinsman. 
I couldn't, I can't raise up sons for you, but this is a near kiss. So there's, a, there's excitement here without something that's written that we can't really see, but we would know that this kind of rejoicing is not coming from the right place, but it's going to work out because of who God is. And that's what we need to hear. Hallelujah. See, she knows the law, but she doesn't know she don't know the, the power of Boaz's presence. This is what I keep trying to go back to. See, people see the stuff, but you don't see the blessing of who it's coming from. You see that? She, she knows the law, okay? But do you know the power of Boaz's presence? This girl has been working in Boaz's field all day. This girl has eaten with Boaz. Boaz himself passed her parts going. You know, you, there's a presence. There's an interaction that everybody needs to know. And this is where God is bringing the people. So everybody will know the interaction. You see that? Hallelujah. So, he showed his kindness to the living and to the dead. Back to these obligations. I want you to see that Jesus has done all this. First of all, this kinsman, this next kinsman, this actual means from the language in which it's written to redeem, act as a kinsman redeemer, avenge or revenge, ransom, do the part of a kinsman. Okay? So then, first one we'll look at we just said, redeem his, not just his brother. This is another thing, too, that we don't quite understand here. If someone was poor and they were, because they couldn't pay the debts mm -hmm. and were sold into slavery, then to redeem. You see, a kinsman could redeem them. They'd, they'd just take your stuff, like the IRS will do folks today. Just take all your stuff. See that? So you get to redeem, you see? So then, so to redeem the property, the, the redeem is not only the brother, but his property or his inheritance as that brother is able to do. Now, you don't set that requirement on him. He just the same shit, can't do anything. You see that? So then, Galatians 3.13. Let me show you how, what Christ, who Christ is. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Okay? Galatians 3.13. We're not talking about old custom now. We're talking about the real deal in the spirit. It's true of us. We're not slaves. How did he do it? Being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangeth on a tree. Thank you, Jesus, for your obedience unto death, even the death of the cross. Thank you, Lord. So, like I said, if there was any, uh, see, the brother was killed. Uh, there's, there's, there's violence, fatal violence. What he's he's got to avenge that. A brother would, kinsman. This near kinsman would do that. See that? So then, do we remember scripture like this? Vengeance is mine. Yes. Save the Lord. Yes. The thing is, we won't let him. Adam made sure we had we had a trigger in us, no matter who we are. This person's so cool and calm. They look, I sure don't want to be around when they get mad. Especially they're cool and calm. Somebody let me like, don't 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 do this, don't do that, 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 because you're mad. But but see somebody that's just a smooth operator. You go around somebody like that, they'll bop you real good. You won't know what happened. So then, vengeance is mine. <laughs> Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Avenge, uh, he will avenge and he'll defend us. He is our defense. He is. Glory Amen. to God. He is Amen. our defense. Yes. Amen. He wants us at that place. Look, I'm the only power, Amen. so what's the other power? Why are you worried about that? You know, so many people get, just get stressed out. Any occasion will just stress them out. Yep. Well, we're going to have a... Uh, an election coming up. You got some people just get so stressed. You know. Whatever. Whatever it is. I bet I was sick. I don't want to be, be sick anymore. And this kind of stuff. Look. God is not. God is not. Here. And that's everywhere to change 
what we want. Mm, right. Y'all hear this? Mm. Please hear this, because this is going to help us. The more we are aware of who God is, the I mean, it's really going to help us in daily life. Amen. If you back it all up, if you could rewind, you will see most of the situations are self-caused. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you just really go back to the beginning, if I just could have waited on God for this, you know, if I just could have just waited for his voice. You hear that? Amen. Not, not my own. Oh, I can fix this right now. Well, well at this, this age, I'm, look, I should, this ain't happening yet, so I need to do something about it. You're getting ready to wreck your train. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Just listen. Fire told us, listen, get quiet, listen. Bishop Paul gets blessed, praise God. You need to come away with me. That's how he is with me. I do both of them. Like, I've been quite time. But when he says, come away with me, don't keep sitting there like you ain't heard him. When he says, come away with me, he means come away with me. Because you'll miss something if you don't. There's nothing we can be doing that we are too busy to keep doing it. And God has summoned us. Right. Amen. Exactly. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. This old covenant said he hissed for me. And one day he did that and I stopped Went to hear what he said, and I ain't been the same since. Y'all hear the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. This raising up a successor and heir. This is the last point. Raise up a, a successor for the brother. This is what the near kinsman does. You know. So you see all these things, and somebody looking for a, for a boy's man and that kind of stuff, and you, you know, miss God, but. This right here, now we get to the heart of what this whole thing is about. What this near kinsman is. Mm -hmm. See that? Raise up a successor to his brother. If the brother died, left no heir. Listen to these scriptures from Hebrew 1. Hebrew chapter 1, 1 through 3. Because Christ is, is heir of, of all things. You hear this? Mm -hmm. God, who at various times and in divers manners, spoke in times past unto the fathers by the prophets have in these last days spoken unto us by his son. I'm going to ask you, what are people doing that's sitting in houses of worship and they are hearing about the building program? I, I keep reminding you of that because I'm trying to show people how desperately we need to do this God's way. You hear this? Or some program that's coming up or some, some holiday man is plugged in. All this stuff that's in the way of this. He's, in the, he's spoken to us by his son. Mm -hmm. This didn't say, going to speak. So we need to know what it said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's spoken to us by his son. Not saying God is not still speaking because we live, live by every word that proceed that out of the mouth of God. But I'm going to tell you right now, he's spoken by his son. Mm -hmm. And we'll just go back and see what the son said right. and what, what the son did. Like, listen, I and my father are one. We'll start with that. We say what the son says. Say son says. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I and my father are one. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I and my father are one. Where did it leave us? Right in the middle of I. Mm -hmm. One with the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I and my father. Any one of us can say, I and my father are one. Because that will get us out the way. And give him the preeminence that he only deserves. We Remember what you said last week about Shiloh? He's the only one whose right it is. The, the gathering of the people are unto him. He's the heir of all things. By whom he had made the worlds. Listen, all the ages belong to him. The Christ. So you leave this one. You go to sleep. You, 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 he'll still be running things. Y'all hear God? Amen. No matter what age. Mm -hmm. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Bishop Paul, these are the things 
that get into our hearts and we long for as sons. See that? We long to be in the brightness of his glory, but don't know that. Because we think we got it all going on, you know. In the brightness of his glory. See that? We see, see Jesus. No, know, him, know him no more. There's so much more I can show you about this, especially from Ephesians and Philippians, and we'll catch you the next time in the study. But the scriptures tell us, know him no more after the flesh. Well, what do people do? What, what do people do? They know him after the flesh. Well, how do we know, how do we know that you're a minister of righteousness? Well, when you come, you got to put this robe on. Mm -hmm. You got to put, you know, so everybody know who you are. Did did Jesus dress up like the Pharisees in the market? No. That's why they hated him. He brought a kingdom in. He wasn't trying to be a renegade. He brought a kingdom in. Listen, we 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 are. A kingdom is being ushered in through us. God's glory is coming through a people. I don't know how we think we're coming. You, look, some people are actually gazing, thinking that one day he's going to come on a white horse and break the sky. Amen. What would a white horse have been in that day? A pure vehicle. Hear this? Everybody I'm looking at is one. Everybody, you can bring Christ into any situation. You see that? Why would the God of love send the answer in the Christ and then turn around and every look? Because people don't think like you think they're going to bust hell wide open. Well, I don't know where you're going to sit. Wait, wait, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Because he's not. How are you going to do that? And see, that turns things upside down for religion and religion doesn't like that because religion's basis is built around the, the Babylonian whore where everything revolves around merchandise and money and that kind of stuff like that and when you take that out the way and you realize look if, if you don't want to bring God what he's put in your heart then, then just keep it you see what I'm saying have we you see the truth. Have you had any demand in 27 years on what to bring in here? No. 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 Never will. Do you see any deficits because people didn't bring their stuff? No. 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 Why? Because his grace is sufficient. It wasn't just for us. It spilled over all over the world. For all I know, all about the universe because we talked about God. Somebody please hear the Lord. Thank you, Father. All I can do is say bless you because you are blessed people. And I hope that God will bring you into the realization. And I know that he has already done that if we'll just listen to him of just truly how blessed we are. In him, the body of Christ. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.